G'day, it's Chris Cook here from A Kick in the Bush. I'm here with the new president of the Bandstyle Football Netball Club, Mick Mann. How are you, Mick? Good, thanks, Cookie. Thanks for having me, mate. No worries. Thank you for giving us some of your time. Mick, uh, if we can have a, have a few minutes with you, I'd just like to ask you a couple of questions. What, what possessed you to become the president of the Bandstyle Football Netball Club? Yeah, that's a good question. My wife's asked me the same thing, Cookie. Um, look, I suppose in the last few years we've had COVID to deal with, and local legend Murray Frew's been leading us through. Um, he was looking for an exit strategy, um, so we uh, we had a good chat about it. It felt like the right time maybe to do it mid-season, so we can get some planning in for next year. Excellent. And so, what what's Muzz ridden off into the sunset, or what's he up to? No, he'd like to, but I'm not letting him do that. He's going to continue on in the committee. He does a whole heap of work around this joint, um, so you know, Muzz just gets to relax a little bit. Doesn't have to do this sort of stuff, but we'll be uh, we'll be tapping into him for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the season and into next year, mate. Um, Mick, you know, what, what sorts of things, what are the big things that you'd like to, you know, when, when we look back on your reign as the president, what are the, what are the things that you'd like people to remember that reign by? Yeah, another good question, mate. Oh, I think, look, for me, this footy club's really important and the netball uh, side of things as well for the kids around the area. They need something to strive for. Um, I think we could be a bit more su successful on the field. So, you know, I'd like to think when we look back, we will uh, we'll create a bit more success. Um, and, you know, from my perspective, the, the, the kids that are 12, 13, 14 are all striving to be in this place and uh, and then find their way back into East Gippie clubs on the way out. So, yeah, we're, we're a breeding ground, I suppose. Excellent. Um, Mick, you've got there's some plans coming up, uh, some um, renovations, that sort of stuff. Did you want to give us a bit of a rundown on them? Yeah, sure. We've got the uh, the club rooms that are behind us here, the change rooms that have been here for a fair while now. Uh, they'll be redeveloped over the next 12 to 18 months. So. Uh, the home, home rooms will be uh, a lot bigger um, and we'll be able to cater for female footy which is a great, uh, a great thing for us. Mick, there's a huge game uh, coming up this weekend, uh, the Redlegs versus the Warrigal Gulls. It's the only game in East Gippsland. Uh, you've got a huge uh, fundraiser on as well. Do you want to give us a bit of info about what's happening on this weekend so we can get people down here? Yeah, for sure. We are the only, only game around the area, so that's great. Um, it's an opportunity for people who, I suppose, volunteer in other clubs to maybe come and enjoy themselves uh, at a day at the footy. Uh, Pip Timms, who's been a club president previously and on our uh, committee for many years, for the last couple of years she's been trying to get uh, an MND day up and running and unfortunately we've had COVID interrupt them both times. So we've done plenty of work um, and this year we're finally away so we'll be, uh, we'll be raising funds and awareness for MND all day. Um, so we encourage everyone to get over here and enjoy a few different activities. We've got a few people going down a uh, country version, if you like, of the of the slide you see at the MCG. I think Bully might be uh, coming down, and Bob Yates thought it might be a good idea if we the idea if we get a bit more uh, time under the cold border with uh, with Bully. Um, there's a few other local celebrities, the Heath boys, so father and son type combo. Robin Dunkley, I think, is going to go down the, down the slide. And a few of the local clubs, I think Millsy might be going down from Painsville. Is that right, Cookie? Have you heard? That's what he told me. Yeah, no, it'll be good. Used to work with Corey. Looking forward to seeing that. So, yeah, there's, there's plenty more. And the Warrigal guys, are they're going to jump on board as well. A few of those guys are going down as well, so it should be a bit of fun. Excellent. So there's a full day of games. We've got a full day of netball games. We've got a full day of uh, footy. Yep. So the first footy game starts at... Yeah, I think it's about quarter to nine. We've, we've changed a few game times that need to be confirmed this week. Um, so, yeah, they'll, they'll come forward, the earlier games, and we'll push the senior game back slightly to accommodate for the uh, the slide action that'll be between the reserves and the seniors. So the big, the big um, obviously, you want people down here, you know, to, to see as many games of football and netball as they can, but the actual slide event in between the reserves and the seniors, rough time? Yeah, I reckon it's about quarter to two, two o'clock. Um, so if everyone, got, if you're here by about one o'clock, um, enjoy some. I said we've got some um, some food vans, some bit of fun for the kids as well, um, and then that'll be just in time to see a few of these clowns go down the slide and get pretty cold. Awesome, that'll be fun. Um, and of course, a kick in the bush is going to be hosting that event. So we are going to go live on YouTube from 1.30. So if you can't get here, which isn't a very good excuse, but just in case you can't, you can watch us live on YouTube. Or if you're watching, you can watch us live on YouTube in your car. So that'll be from 1.30. Also on Clutch TV, the game after the MND slide event, the game is live on YouTube on Clutch TV and on TRFM. So. Listen, uh, thanks for tuning in to Kick in the Bushes. All the best with this weekend, Mick, and um, it's been great to have a chat with you. No, thanks, and well done to you guys for getting this up and running too. I watched you on Friday night, and it was great to listen to some of the, the, the guys that were having a chat. And, you know, it was awesome for us as a footy club to hear how positive they were about the Ben style experience and what we give back, and we hope the, uh, the local clubs benefit from that. So, yeah, thanks very much, and well done to you guys. 
Thank you, Mick. Um, signing out. We'll see you all on Saturday. Bye.